Welcome to DOS Geek. So a lot of people saw the i3 video and they are talking about how awesome some of the elements of it are, like the fact that you can game on it so easily and move your games between screens. It's beautiful for gaming. But NVIDIA makes things kind of annoying sometimes, specifically with their NVIDIA settings panel that you see here. So one of the issues that you run into, and depending on the distribution, because of this force composition, if we go here into the advanced section, force composition pipeline and force full composition pipeline. On 144 hertz monitor, for whatever reason, at times when you're reading text and you're scrolling through and you have an NVIDIA card, I have the 1080, you'll see kind of that uh, scrolling, blurring kind of effect that occurs. This can also happen in games, especially if you don't have your hertz set right. You have your monitor that's running natively at 144 hertz, your video card set to 60, and that just compounds the issue. In any case, uh, having the full force composition pipeline and force full composition pipeline really takes away those effects entirely. You won't see it in games. You won't see it in text. It's a simple fix. The problem is in certain distros, this save file for NVIDIA for saving the configuration, if you go here to save it, it automatically will default to the Etsy X 11 xorgcomp area, which is not where you need to save it in Manjaro. If you're wanting to save it in Manjaro, you need to save it to a completely different location. If you save it here, it will run until the computer goes to sleep or you reboot. And when you come back, it will default back to the 60 Hertz. So here you want to save it to the Etsy X 11 MHWD.D slash NVIDIA.conf location. And then you can merge with the existing file. Now you can't do this without sudo. So what you really need to do if you're going to do this properly here, I'll go ahead and quit out is you can do like a GK su, you can do a sudo, uh, but you need to use something with administrative privileges so you can write over that file. And then once you do that and you go into your display configurations and go to set them and save to your file, that's where you're going to change this here. And you're going to paste that location in, you're going to hit save. And when you reboot, your computer will remember the settings and you'll be ready to game and have a fantastic time with i3 because it's just such a cool little tool. We can move, you know, our terminal down here. We can move that over there. If I want it horizontal, I want it on the other side. If I want to move this whole area over into my other screen and bring you over to audio, that's just how cool everything is in i3 and that's a way to fix some of that those issues you can come across if you have an nvidia card if you have an amd you don't have to worry about that because you know they just support linux a lot better so in any case i hope this video helps you and until next time get out there and fill your brains don't forget us.